okay so this task is uh, 12 12 everyone which is from the long term uh, long term decision making task from management accounting where you need to calculate the net present value and a payback value of a given investment okay so this is from management accounting dealing with the net present value and the payback value of a given investment so with B engineering factors or considering an investment in a new machine tool with an essential useful life of five years so this asset is going to be used for five years the investment will require capital expenditure of 50,000. So you are going to spend 50,000 to buy this particular asset. Open NPV file from the workbook. Open the file NPV. And let's see. Using the data available, calculate the NPV of an investment on the NPV worksheet. So they given you the data here. Cost of the investment is 50,000. They told you how much are the inflows, how much are the outflows and the present value factors already. And then you need to calculate the calculations in this particular section over here. Use copy and paste special to transpose the values into the NPV calculation from the data worksheet. So when you're copy pasting values, they want you to transpose to convert the rows to columns and columns to rows. Use formula for the calculation of the net cash flow, discounted cash flow and net present value. Format monetary values as number, zero decimal places and comma separator. So let's first apply these three values. So first capital investment as you know should be recorded as a minus figure so which is minus 50,000 because you're spending the money. Inflows given to you in the data table copy control C and here you're pasting transpose them so right click paste special transpose so sorry this should be done from year one onwards not in year zero okay then outflows also the same thing again copy your outflows control C in the NPV sheet from year one right click paste special transpose so we got the capital expenditure and inflows and outflows are been copied net cash flow will still be the same as your original figure for the first year capital investment is not changing net cash flow for the other years will be the inflows minus the outflows so inflows minus outflows they want you to use a formula so first year is 18,000 copy paste the formula into the next sections you got all the calculations now present value factors they have given you again copy control C into the year one paste special and transpose now we need to calculate the discounted cash flow discounted cash flow as you know in year zero discounted factor will be one we already know that so that's why they have not given that discounted cash flow will be the net cash flow multiplied by the present value factor so in the year zero fifty thousand will be fifty thousand only but from the next year onwards the value of the money is going to decrease so in year one eighteen thousand became sixteen thousand then twenty thousand became fifteen thousand and so on so all the present values are now been calculated so now we need to calculate the net present value which is the capital expenditure plus the sum of all these other incomes what you have made during the year so your present value is a positive figure of 21164 so it is 50,000 plus the sum of all whatever you got. 50,000 is a negative, so you know that will be subtracted before you calculate the present value. And your net present value is positive. That means you made 50,000 and on top of that you again earned 21,164. And you know that if your net present value is positive, you can accept the project. So the first three, now they want you to do monetary formats, number and zero decimal places. So monetary, number and zero decimal places. Right click, 
format cells number zero decimal places thousand separator so that's all done use an if statement in cell b11 to state if the ba if based on the npv the investment should go ahead format the font to red and bold so in b11 they want to use a if statement so b11 where is my b11 it's here if they want to use a if statement to accept the project or not as you know with the npv if the value is positive you accept the project if the value is negative you reject the project so to check if it is positive or negative you need to check if it is greater than zero or not that's it so equal to formulas logical if if the net present value is greater than zero that means it is positive so we say accept the project but if it is not if the condition was false then we would say reject the project and say okay and because here it is positive it is saying accept the project let's change this figure to see if it will work or not okay instead of 50000 i will change it to 30000 okay let's see oh sorry it's still we we coming oh, sorry, so i put positive figure minus 30000 still positive okay let's increase it 72000 minus 72000 now here the net present value is negative and you can see your answer is changing accordingly okay they did not ask you to do this but i am just doing that to check if the formula is working or not so these are your original figures so we'll leave it at that now continuing you will have to use payback copy and paste special to input the values into the payback conditional formatting to highlight when the investment pays back format monetary values as number zero decimal places and comma separator now we need to do the net, uh, payback we already got the net cash flows here so we can copy paste here without having to calculate again so control c now we need to transpose again so right click paste special transpose oops sorry one minute let's try that again copy control c these are formulas and here we want to paste values so when you click paste special use values and then transpose and then it will be pasted correctly cumulative cash flow equal to the same figure in the next month minus 50000 plus 18000 cumulative cash flow from here and then you can copy paste this formula into the next cells and you can see that it became positive in the month in the year they wanted you to apply some conditional formatting but i think here something is already applied so what i will do is i will remove the conditional formatting and show you again so conditional formatting i'll say clear rules from the selected cells so they want you to use conditional formatting where the figures have become positive so wherever it is greater than 0 you want to change it into a positive which is a different color so highlight the cells conditional formatting new rule format cells that contain value greater than 0 they did not tell you any color so because positive figures are good so we fill them or change the font into green so i'll change the fill into green and i say okay and okay and you can see all the positive figures have changed now to calculate the payback period we need to calculate the years and the months so it became positive in between years 2 and 3 so payback period will be 2 years and to calculate the months you know the formula negative cash flow from the previous year 
divided by the positive cash flow from the current month and then you multiply it by 12 to convert it into months but because this figure is negative here you will get a negative answer so put a minus sign before and close the brackets so that minus minus becomes plus otherwise you will get minus months over here so just to change that when you're doing in the calculator you don't have to do it because you don't put minus 12,000 you put 12,000 divided by 21,000 times 12 but here the calculation is having a minus sign so here if you don't use this minus sign let me show you what will happen you will get the answer it is telling minus 686 months okay so to avoid that in front of the formula just put a minus sign because minus minus will become plus and then you will know it is two years and 6.86 months you cannot put months in decimal places so right click format cells to number without any decimal places so you know your payback is two years and seven months so in cell K11, enter the number of years, we done that. In cell 11, use a formula to calculate the number of months, we have done that. Ensuring you round appropriately. So we did use the round. You did not use a round function, but we rounded appropriately without decimal places. That is sufficient. If they ask you to use round function, then we will have to use the round function over here. Okay. So this is your task 12-12 which is for the calculation of the net present value and the payback.